Hey guys, Solo here. Ever since I made my new guide highlighting some of Ike's new kill confirms in patch 8.0, I've been bombarded with dozens of people asking me one question. How do you execute down tilt to back air so consistently? To answer that question, I'm going to be breaking down exactly how the combo works and what inputs you should be doing to make sure you get this combo right every single time. And make sure you stick around to the end because I have a trick that you're going to want to see that is going to help you get this down more consistently and it's going to make you feel kind of like a badass. Down tilt bear has always been a thing for Ike, even before the patch. Back air was and is actually our only true combo out of down tilt at low percents. Forward air is not fast enough and so can be air dodged or reversal until you get to the percent where it becomes true. At zero, the combo is extremely tight, frame perfect actually. If you don't hit the inputs exactly right, back air can be air dodged as well. I've had a lot of people ask if I'm attack canceling these back airs in this combo. For those of you who don't know, attack canceling is a tech discovered very early in ultimate where you cancel a forward tilt with a jump while holding the control stick in the opposite direction. Because of a quirk in Ultimate's buffer system, this results in a bear in the opposite direction of your tilt, and it actually comes out slightly faster than a normal RAR or turnaround back air. I'll put a link now to a popular guide on how to execute this. I'm not getting too deep into it now, as it's not really what this video is about. Attack cancelling is viable at these low percents, and it does make the combo easier. I did use it for a while, but now I choose not to. Why? Because due to Ultimate's short hop buffered aerial system, it is impossible to full hop while performing this technique. Again, check the linked video for more in-depth explanation. I'd rather not use two methods for down to back air for the sake of my muscle memory, so I don't use attack canceling anymore. But the option is there if you want an easier version of down tilt bear at zero. Instead, I choose a slightly more difficult method of inputting a turnaround short hop back air. Here's how to execute this. Start your down tilt. Immediately begin holding to the direction behind Ike on the control stick. After the turnaround, on the second frame of Ike's turnaround animation, input a short hop buffered aerial towards your opponent. Since you were holding the control stick away from your opponent during the down tilt animation, you'll have to flick it back quickly towards your opponent in order to send Ike's momentum forward and get the correct aerial. I use a face button to jump and then input an aerial with A since I'm already holding towards my opponent, meaning that the input is simpler with a face button than it would be with a C-stick aerial. This should come out as a back air and be a true combo. The combo counter is for some reason inconsistent on this, but it is a true combo that is not escapable. This is very difficult to execute at zero, and I am definitely not 100% consistent on the true version of this. Neither are your favorite pros. That being said, almost perfect works in a lot of situations where your opponent doesn't have the best air dodge or a frame one escape option. So it's still worth going for in game, even if you're not 100% on it. However, this is why you see so many Ike mains choosing instead to read the air dodge and go for either a nair or another down tilt in this situation to catch it and continue the string. It's up to you what you want to do in this situation and when going for the very tight combo is worth it for you. It's also up to you if you want to learn attack canceling to make it more consistent. Once you get some more damage on your opponent, down tilt back air will become significantly easier to perform as your frame advantage will be higher and higher. This is a great way to get a lot of damage on your opponent consistently before down tilt to fair is even true which it's not until about 50-ish percent. Now, the most important part of this combo, using it as a kill confirm. Around 70 to 90 percent, it is possible to use down tilt to back air to score kills off a quick tilt near the ledge. This is really important because down tilt is actually our best parry punish, giving us a possible kill confirm out of a parry, which is a massive buff to our defensive game. This wasn't possible pre-patch, as down tilt had too much knockback to be comboed into back air at kill percents. The method for inputting this is mostly the same with one difference. We can't hit A and jump at the same time, as that will result in a short hop buffered aerial. This system prevents us from ever inputting a buffered full hop aerial. You'll have to input your aerial a few frames after the jump in this case. I slide my thumb along the face of the controller to hit the buttons quickly one after the other. Jump squat is three frames. And if you input the aerial at any point during this animation, you'll get a short hop aerial instead and most likely whiff. You'll have to input it on frame four or later after the jump squat. Luckily, the increased hit stun at these higher percents means the window is bigger and the combo is not significantly more difficult. I'd actually say it's significantly easier and you can definitely get it down consistently, even with the extra input. The good thing about the down tilt bear combo is if you screw it up, you'll almost always just get a forward air instead, which also true combos at pretty much all of these percents past 40. So so while you won't kill, you'll still get a lot of damage and put them in a really bad situation. So there's no reason not to go for the more difficult back air. At higher percents, you will have to do an instant double jump back air. This is a similar input, but you have to input a double jump immediately after your jump squat to gain a little more height. 
This is pretty difficult to do, but that's okay. At these percents you can usually just down tilt to fair, which is easier and starts to kill at these higher numbers. You'll kill a bit earlier with the double jump back air, but you won't be missing too much of a window using fair instead. So it's up to you if you want to practice and implement it. Next up, I'm gonna show you how I practice this technique and a cool trick that I think will help you get this consistently. When you hit a down tilt on the opponent, if you include the time added for hit stop, AKA the freeze frame from a move hitting the opponent where they just kind of jitter around for a bit, you'll want to be inputting your jump on frame 41. I did the math, and this means that any song at 88 beats per minute will perfectly match the tempo. What's a song with this BPM? Well, Bulls on Parade by Rage Against the Machine works really well. This is the beat I practice too, and it makes things massively more consistent. And actually kind of feels a little badass too. Any song on this list should be close enough to the tempo you need to get this training technique to work. Feel free to pause the video to find one that you like. Some standouts to me are Umbrella by Rihanna, Yellow by Coldplay, or Footloose by Kenny Loggins. Thanks for watching guys. Now, this video took a really long time to make with all the overlays and the graphics and stuff, so I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button uh, and maybe stick around for more content. I mainly make Ike stuff, but I might branch out into different characters in the future, depending on what appeals to me and what I find interesting. I also stream live on Twitch four to five days a week at twitch.tv slash solo jones, so make sure you find that link in the description. Make sure you're following me on there and you can check out my tournament runs and other special events live. Thanks guys!